Hello everyone, in this particular session, I am going to implement bag of words in Python. So bag of words is basically the conversion of text into some vectorized form as I have already mentioned in my previous session. So uh, for that, what I am doing is I am first importing the pandas library to, reading my, to read my data set. Uh, so here I am using the data set of movie reviews, which contains around 25 rows for 25 rows means the 25 movie reviews. So first I am reading my data set into the reviews variable. So after reading, I am just displaying the first five rows of my data set. So I can see here like uh, the different types of reviews are present here, right? So here the shape of the reviews, uh, that is my data set. So it contains around 25 reviews and one column. So now what I'm doing is I'm doing some pre-processing of to my data set. So for that, what I'm doing using is NLTK and regular expression library. So uh, here what I'm doing is I'm executing a for loop from the first sentence to the last sentence of my data set. So here this is the for loop and here uh, I'm removing the, the special symbols or different numbers that are present in my data set or present in my reviews. So this particular expression is removing, removing all the uh, special symbols and numbers from my reviews. So after removing, what I'm doing is I'm just converting all the reviews into some smaller, smaller cases. That is the lower case. So after converting the lower case, I'm splitting every single word from the uh, sentence. From every sentence, I'm removing, uh, splitting all the words. And after removing, I'm checking like whether this particular word is uh, stop words or not. Like if it is a stop words, I'm removing that word, and if it is not a stop word, I'm keeping that word. So stop words are basically the words which have less important to my to my data set. So suppose we can, for example, we can say he is, and these are some stop words which are less important to my data set. So after removing the stop words, I'm again joining my uh, words into the title. So after joining, finally adding all the titles to my corpus. So finally, after executing this command, I can see my corpus is here. So it contains all the uh, movie reviews in some proper format. So finally, I got my corpus here. And now I have to convert this corpus into the bag of words. That means the counter vector. So here I'm doing is I'm importing the counter vector from the SQLearn library. So after importing the counter vector, I'm creating my bag of words article, like bag of words. Um, variable so i have given to my given my corpus to the bag of words uh, like the counter vector and after giving it converts all the sentences into that vectorized form and also i'm extracting all the features by using this particular command like all the features of my data set that is all the words that are present in my data set so finally i am transforming my corpus into the vectorized form and here i am displaying all the features that are all the words present in my data set so after extract uh, displaying the data set i can see here all all the words are present here so after that here finally i am displaying the vector that is formed using that counter vectorization vectorizer library so this is the vector uh, the complete vector where you can see different words are there which are in the uh, which are considering as features for my data set so and total 25 rows are there that are 25 sentences are there so here you can see if a particular year suppose particular word suppose uh, year is year is present in the fourth sentence so it, it's assigned one there so if a word is present in a particular sentence it's assigning one there or if it is not present then it's assigning zero there so in that particular way the all the text all the text of method that set is converted into some vectorized form so in the next session, I uh, will see about how to use or uh, how to implement TF-IDF in Python.